Zoomedica is a development stage veterinary diagnostic and pharmaceutical company that engages in the discovery, development, and commercialization of pharmaceuticals for the companion pet. In today's video, we will do a recap of this past week for the Zoomedica stock. But before I begin the video, definitely consider liking and subscribing as it is free and it really helps the channel out. Also, if you're interested, head over to my Patreon where you can join a great community of like-minded investors. And let me know in the comments below if you're interested or even already invested in Zoomedica. Okay, so this is the article that we'll be going over in today's video. And I chose this article especially since I think it is a great recap of what has been occurring this past week for Zoomedica. So the article states, Zoomedica still looks promising even after public offering hiccup. So the subtitle is Zom stock took a hit when the company raised 173.5 million in a stock offering. So this is from the investor place uh, website where you know they provide you know decent articles but normally I like these articles because they give a brief understanding of what has been occurring for the stock. So this is where the article is from. But anyways, the article states the rise in Zoom Medica and Zom stock took a bit of a breather after the company offered up millions of shares at a discount. While it's not a deal breaker for Zom stock, the episode is a good reminder of how volatile penny stocks can be and the profits that can be made for investors who are looking for solid growth names. Zoomedica is giving all indications that it could be a solid growth stock this year. The Michigan-based veterinary testing and pharmaceutical company has a product that's set to roll out in late March. And just as importantly, Zoomedica deals in an industry, pet care, that's becoming increasingly important and lucrative. So the Zom stock is up more than 1,700% on a year-to-date basis, rising from less than 40 cents to more than 2.6 US dollars in a matter of weeks. And they give the grade of B and a buy recommendation. So before we take a closer look at this popular stock, I just wanna quickly dissect some of the most important parts from this section alone. So first off and right off the bat, Zometica did have a, an offering this past week. I believe their underwriter also issued their uh, options this past week as well. So obviously this was not the best of week for Zumedica as there was a share dilution in the stock and people did not react kindly to that as obviously it's never great to see share dilution in a stock you're interested in. So that was the first uh, important aspect that they covered already in the section. And the next interesting aspect that they point out that I completely agree with is the fact that obviously Zumedica is in the pet care industry which is booming right now because of the pandemic and I think will continue to do well in the upcoming years. So that is part of the reason why, that is a small part of the reason why I am interested in Zumedica, but a reason nonetheless. And finally, it's great to see that they have a buy rating and a B grade. Obviously it doesn't carry much weight as this is just some, you know, random website on the internet, but it's still good to see that people still think that Zumedica is a buy nonetheless. Okay, so we will move on to the Zom stock at a glance section. So Zometica's rapid ascent hit a roadblock on February 8th when the company announced it was increasing the size of its public offering to 91.3 million shares. Zometica previously had announced an offering of 13.2 million shares so it could raise 25 million and in the filing before the Security and Exchange Commission, it said it increased the offering to 91.3 million shares at 1.9 US dollars each, which would mean the company raised 173.5 million. So that's a big increase, but it came at a price for investors who didn't appreciate the share dilution, nor that the stock offering was at a discounted price. So Zom stock fell as much as 17% on the day that this was announced. However, as the author states, it's not all bad news, however, Zometica slowly but steadily made up most of that loss in the next few days, ending the week up more than 15%. The stock isn't all the way back, but it's certainly on its way. So to go over this section, um, I'd first like to start off with the fact that yes, they indeed increased their public offering to 91.3 million shares. And this was definitely a drastic increase. People at first were only expecting an offering of about 13.2 million shares, 
and when they increased it to 91.3 million shares which is like you know almost 9x that people obviously did not react well and the stock as they state dropped 70 percent on the day they announced that so while the offering was very bad the good news that we got out of that if you can even consider it good news as obviously share dilution is never good but they were able to announce that they were looking into potential merger and acquisition in one article they were intending to use it mainly for the development of their platform and for marketing and for general corporate use which is good obviously share dilution is never great but at least they were able to announce that they were intending to use it for the company and to develop the company for the upcoming years and finally as they state the stock was able to recover some of the losses i believe not all of it as the, it still ended up i believe around 10 percent down for the week but at least it was able to recover some of the losses so the next section focuses on the true form of rollout so it begins by saying while it's true that zumetica got on the public radar thanks to netflix documentary star carol baskin the company's more legitimate claim to fame is its Truforma product that is rolling out this spring. So, a brief overview of the Truforma. Basically, it is a small diagnostic platform that can be used to diagnose thyroid and ardinal problems in dogs and cats. Those issues can be hard for pet owners to diagnose on their own. While they can easily tell if Fido or Fluffy aren't feeling well, pets can't describe their symptoms to their owners. The Truforma device is about the size of a shoebox, and veterinarians and other pet care providers can take a small blood sample and load it into the machine. They get a relatively quick diagnosis of the ailment, and it's much faster than the shipping blood samples off to a laboratory. And the final news that they cover is the fact that the Miller Veterinary Supply already signed a deal with Zumedica to market and sell the Truforma devices up and down the East Coast and all the way west to Texas. And Miller is the oldest wholesale veterinary distributor in the U.S., so it's an important partner to Zumedica. And the market for pet diagnostic testing was at $2.1 billion in 2018, and it's projected to grow by 8.4% per year through 2026. Okay, so this section basically just covers what Trueforma is, why it's popular, and yes, it was because of Carol Baskin. That's why it got its initial intention. But I believe this section... Uh, well depicts the Miller Veterinary Supply Partnership and it is in fact a very important partnership with Zumedica that will contribute I think to Zumedica's long-term success. Now let's take a look at the recent price action. So as you can see this stock went up 3% on Friday and 2% after hours so this was obviously fantastic to see. I had not seen green for a while with Zumedica because of the offering so it's fantastic to see that Friday was a green day, both during market hours and after hours for the Zumatica stock. So obviously I'll take 3% after an offering. So that was also fantastic to see. And looking at the five day chart, you can see that this was not the best week for Zumatica, mainly because of the offering and also because the underwriter uh, issued their options. So that obviously contributed to a red week for Zumatica, but also penny stocks in general and the overall market had a red week so that obviously made the offering effect even worse for Zumetica and resulted in even more losses okay so what are my final thoughts and where do I see the stock heading well I definitely think that this company has a ton of potential first off the offering it was not great to see it's never good to see any sort of shared dilution however it was comforting to see the fact that they are potentially working on a merger or an acquisition the fact that they intend to reinvest most of the money back into their platform and marketing and general corporate use that was obviously fantastic to see so despite the share dilution and despite the offering at least there was a positive to come out of it even if it doesn't fully cover the share dilution so the other great aspect that the article covered was the miller veterinary supply agreement that was obviously a great partnership, and I think that will definitely contribute to Zumatica's long-term success. And finally, I do expect the stock to continue to rise in the upcoming weeks as we get closer to the True Forma launch. I think that the True Forma launch has a ton of potential. I think it will be a success because of the market demand and because of the hype behind it. So I think that the stock will continue to rise in the upcoming weeks, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see.
So that's it for the video guys. I really hope you liked it and found it informative. Let me know your opinions in the comments below and let me know what stocks I should review next. And I will see you guys soon.